So a lot of people always ask me the question, how do you accessorize your room and make it look so dope? What are the things that you use? I'm gonna explain everything and I'm gonna break it down for some essentials that you should have in your bedroom or your sneaker room, whatever you may call it. And also look dope for Instagram and different photos like that. So that way you know how to keep your room fly as well. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. Now, if you guys haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button, smash the subscribe button because you already know what that means. You're going to join the family. So drop a comment down below and let me know if you're just now joining the family so I can give you a nice warm welcome in the comment section. But today, what we're going to be talking about is how to accessorize, how to make your room look dope, all those different things that people have been asking me. And I'm going to give you guys some of the essentials. Obviously, there are a lot of things that I can give you guys. But I'm going to give you guys about four or five things in this video. So I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Essential number one. Now this is a free essential, but I think that it is very, very valuable. And the reason why I say that is because you already get it when you purchase your shoes. And that is the sneaker box. If you organize your sneaker boxes oh so well, make them have like a nice pattern or a nice unison look, very even and organized and coordinated, you can essentially create a sneaker wall for free on one of your walls without having to worry about buying sneaker containers. But that does take you into essential number two. If you are able to now have enough money to purchase sneaker containers and display your collection in a different way, I would always suggest and recommend buying sneaker containers with a drop front shoe box just like this on there. I will have a link down below as well for you guys to get some of these containers. Also use the DNA show discount code for 10% off. But I think that these are the best thing ever right now when it comes to displaying your shoes and just giving that dope look. As you have seen over the past couple years, a lot of people are liking to use these display cases. Now there are different tiers and different versions of these. So like I said, choose based upon your budget and your style. This is all preference based upon you, not what I'm saying. I'm just showing you the specific things that I personally use. Again, I will have links for different things down below in the description for you to check out different options and different budgeting. The reason why I think that the shoe containers are so amazing is because obviously you can see your sneakers and when you take a dope photo and everything is in unison and you got about you know 50 pairs of shoes or whatever it is on a wall and it's all looking clean, it's just a very nice uniform shot and it just always ends up coming out looking dope no matter what. So when you're looking at Instagram photos and different things like that, you tend to see trends on certain things like that. Now the next essential, I know it's tough for me because damn near all my walls are covered with shoes, but there are some spaces of the wall that are blank and bare, and I always like to customize it with different things that I have either created or a poster that I have admired over the years or whatever it may be, trying to look for a vintage poster of MJ or something like that. So here's a look at the poster that I got at Astro World. I ended up framing it and sticking it on the wall. It's a 3D holographic poster, and to me, I love it so much, so I had to put it up on the wall and add it to the collection. I also have different things like this, where it's the cereal box from the Travis Scott collection, and all I did was cut the cereal box out, and then I put it inside of a frame that I got from Walmart for like $10. And next thing you know, I have two images that I could put up on the wall and make look oh so clean. I haven't found a space yet to put those, but I just wanted to give you guys a look just to show you guys that there is an option to be creative and not just do what everybody else is doing. Try to think outside the box, even though you're using a cereal box. <laughs> okay. On to the next one. <laughs> the next thing I would like to show you is the shelf right here behind my head. As you can see, I got this shelf from Ikea. It's a seamless looking shelf. And on that shelf, you can then put different things that you would like to display. So originally back in the day when I was younger and I first started my sneaker collection, I used to put all my baby shoes and Gatorade bottles and different stuff like that up there on the top, you know, cards and different things like that. Now as the collection has evolved and I've created different spaces, I now have different things like bare bricks and my pop toys up there right now. So that's just to give you another look at different things that you could put up on the shelf. It's not that expensive and it's a cool little look for the background and different things like that. When you're taking photos, making videos, or just, you know, showing your, you know, classic things that you had growing up as a child and your friend comes in the room and they're like, oh, bro, you remember this? Like just different things like that. So I think adding a shelf space is always something cool because from there you can then throw your little trinkets or whatever it is that you may have onto that shelf. And it's always pretty cool to be able to display your things like that. So we're going to backtrack one more time and go to the Sutbro containers 
and go to this one right here. This container right here, if you clap, it will light up and it will stay lit for about a minute and a half or two minutes. I don't recall how long it is, but essentially it's gonna light up and illuminate clap on not clap off but clap on and it will illuminate and show the shoe so this is a very dope exclusive display piece that you could have in your room that i think is really really dope and obviously i have mine i have some more coming in the mail which i will be making a full review on that as well but i'm excited to tell you guys more about those later in another video but let's go ahead and take it to the next essential sneaker cleaners you gotta have some sneaker cleaners in your room i don't care if it's one brand multiple brands whatever it is if you're a sneakerhead and you rock your shoes, that means you're gonna eventually have to clean your shoes. And if you gotta clean your shoes, that means you need some type of sneaker cleaner or whatever it is, solution, you name it. Some people like to use hot water and regular soap. Whatever it is that you wanna use, make sure you have something to clean your sneakers in your room at all times because you never know when you need to clean your shoes last minute, you gotta go somewhere, they're dirty, you really wanna wear them, and you're like, damn bro, I gotta clean these. Oh cool, now you got some sneaker cleaner on deck, so it makes sense, boom, now I can clean my shoes, I'm ready to go. So make sure that you always, and when I say always, I mean always have some sneaker cleaner in your room, and if you don't have sneaker cleaner, buy multiple pairs, so then you don't even have to worry about cleaning them, just wear the new one. So this next one is actually really big, you can obviously see, it's kinda like a fat head, for sneakers and it's called a wall kick. It's pretty light. It's kind of made out of like a foam material. I actually have a message here written for me from them and uh Honestly, I think these things are dope. They have a lot of different options. I'll send a link for you guys as well down below in the description for you guys to check out the wall kicks. They make these in different sizes, different sneakers, all those different things, but it essentially just goes up on the wall like this. Actually, I can put it up right now and you have a wall kick. So basically that's another cool option to throw on your wall as well, to fill space and make it look cool. Pick one of your classic OG, vintage, whatever you like to call it, sneakers that you have loved and coveted all these years. So taking it to the final essential for this video is going to be the neon light right here. I think that this is a nice hit for the room, bring some more light on the wall, different things like that. They make these in a bunch of different styles, a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different shoes. So if you're ever interested in those, go check those out as well those are some of the essentials i have plenty more for you guys so stay tuned for another video drop some comments for other essentials that you guys would recommend as well and i'll try to incorporate those in another video as well man i am so thankful for each and every one of you guys shout out to the new family that has recently joined and shout out to the ogs that's been around since day one bro we just hit 40,000 subscribers that is crazy. The channel's growing oh so fast. Let's get to 100K by the end of the year. We gotta set goals, we gotta achieve them, we're gonna make it happen. You, me, let's get it. So if you haven't already, go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the family, like I said before. So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you haven't already, also follow me on Instagram. I like to post a lot of steals, deals, a lot of different things like that on my Instagram story. And then I post pretty much daily on my feed as well. So that way you guys can see more content, get other stuff exclusively on there before I post it up on here or if it doesn't even make it to YouTube. All those different things. I can't post everywhere on every single platform. It's just a little too hard. So with that being said, it's my time to go. I'm signing out. I'm gone. Peace. Yo, 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 before I forget, make sure you go check out the new website, shopdnashow.com. On here, we'll be uploading new shoes, used shoes, different sneakers and different accessories, clothing, all different type of stuff, just for you guys. Try to give you guys another exclusive look at different things to start your collection or get nice deals for different shoes and stuff like that. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and enter your email address here and subscribe to the email list, we will start doing more promotions with discount codes as as well for sneakers and other promotions that we have with brands that we're working with in the future so i just want to make sure that you guys know about this because there will be a lot more stuff coming very soon that's in the works all right y'all i'm going